making a rainbow music birthday card for Lawn Fun Annex birthday challenge. I'm starting with watercolor paper that I cut out, A2 size card size, and I used Lawn Fun's rectangular stitch dies to cut it out. Then I'm using Tim Holtz Distress Inks, and I'm also using the Ranger Tim Holtz Round Mini Blender to put on the ink. And I'm kind of doing it in rainbow order. I'm using four different inks and merging two together to make the rainbow colors. So I'm starting with Shaded Lilac. Once I do about a fourth of the card in the purple, I switch over to Salty Ocean and overlap these two to try to create an indigo color in between the blue and the purple. One thing I like about the blending tool is that it has Velcro, so you don't need a handle for every color, you just need a foam pad for each color. And I use the Mini Distress inks. so. The foam fits perfectly underneath each stamp pad. So I just store it there and then as you can see I just switch it around. After I get about half of the card covered through the blue, then I switch to yellow which is scattered straw. And I overlap those to try to make a green color. One thing I like about the Mini Distress Ink is you can also get containers that are specifically made for them and you can fit 12 of them in a little box and then those can stack so it makes really good storage. Now that I colored about three quarters of the front, then I'm switching to red, which is barn door. And I overlap that with yellow to form some orange. And then I keep going over the card back and forth with different colors till I get the look that I want. I want this to be very colorful and cheery because I'll probably send this to one of the girls that we send cards to. Once I get the background colored how I like it, then I use my Scotch ATG gun to put on double sided adhesive and adhere that to my card front. And I'm just using an AT size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Next I use a Lawn Fawn banner die to cut out a banner shape to put my sentiment. Then I'm using my embossing tool, which is really just powder that you're putting on the paper because I'm going to be doing embossing and that makes sure that you don't get embossing powder on the areas that you don't want it. Next I use Distress Ink to stamp my sentiment. Distress ink will stay wet long enough to do embossing, or you can use something like Versamark. If you use a color for your ink, you could just use a clear embossing powder. But I think I forgot that I had this purple embossing powder and decided to use that because one of the girls we send cards to likes purple. I 
I do have some tweezers, but I couldn't find them, so I'm just trying to use my finger. And then I put the paper down to do the end because I was getting too close to my fingers. And I did the embossing powder over a coffee filter so that I can just pour the embossing powder back into the container. Next I'm using the dies from Lawn Fawn's Music Notes to make a staff and music notes and I cut this out of Lawn Fawn sparkle paper. It's really glitter paper. So I wanted to make this really colorful and glittery and shiny for whatever girl we send it to. Next I'm stamping the little animals from Lawn Fawn's Concert Critters. And I decided to try to use the Distress Ink and also Cubwick Colors to keep the rainbow color thing going. Uh, I found out that the Distress Ink didn't do as well on the glitter paper, at least when I tried to put the Copics. So I did redo a couple of the animals and just use my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink for those. But you can color on glitter. You just want to make sure that you have a good paper where the glitter doesn't come off and get all over your pens. I discovered this technique when I went to a convention and I think it was called Crazy Creations had a booth where they sell a lot of different things to make cards with coloring on glitter paper. You can see on the bird how the stamping didn't show up once I colored it with Copic. So I went ahead and finished the other animals with the black ink. However, I didn't film that, so that's missing. After I colored these, I did use the die cuts to cut out all the animals. Once I get all the animals colored and cut out, I arrange them on the card to see how I want to place them. You can see in the image here how the bird looks better now that I've stamped it in a darker color and also I used the jet black ink which doesn't bleed with Copics and also colored it with a lighter blue so you can see the details better and I also did the same with the owl and the fox. I used double sided adhesive tape to adhere the music staff and the notes and the sentiment to the card. I also used dimensional squares that I actually created myself with cardboard and double-sided adhesive to pop up the animals and the music book. I have a video on how I made my own dimensional squares, but you could also use glue dots or you can use foam adhesive.
Thank you for watching. Please support my channel by subscribing and liking the video. This will help me continue bringing more videos to you and also helps you so you don't miss any new videos. I have several more videos about making cards and also I have some puppy videos of my miniature snapshot puppy. And I also have some cooking videos. Thank you. Have a great day.